You have probably arrived at my video because your motherboard does not have a ARGB header to connect the ARGB fans and devices to. Well, this is the solution you need. The Nolly RGB controller connects to the motherboard and uses a USB 2 header, so you do not need an ARGB header on the motherboard. You might also be here as you want to know how the Nolly controller is installed, I will cover this in the video. The Nolly controllers come in different sizes, ports and channels. The Nolly 8 has 8 channels and 8 ports. The Nolly 16 has 16 channels and 16 ports. And finally, the Nolly 32 has 32 channels and 16 ports. On the 32, each port has two channels per port, making it ideal if you want to run two devices from one port. Apologies, as I haven't used or had first-hand experience with this version. Maybe Nolly might send me one for testing purposes. <laughs> Installation. In the box you will have the controller, a USB 2 cable, power cable, three pin adapters, and a sticky pad. Depending on which version you buy, the power cable would either be SATA or Molex. One, this is the SATA power connector. Two, this is the Molex version. The power comes from your PSU, and the other end of the cable connects to the power on the controller. Three, the next cable is the USB cable. One end plugs in the controller, and the other end plugs onto the motherboard's USB 2.0 header, usually located at the bottom of the motherboard. This is why you don't need a ARGB header on the motherboard. The double-sided sticky pad is self-explanatory. This allows you to attach the controller to the inside of the case. However, when mounting the controller, you need to make sure all the cables from all devices will reach before mounting it. Finally, the three-pin ARGB adapters. These plug into each port being used. On every ARGB device there will be a 3-pin ARGB connector. These plug into the adapter. It is worth making a note of which device is plugged into which port, although this is not required when configuring the ports. It will be useful when the system is powered down, in the event you have an issue with a device. Software. As you are no longer using RGB ports on the motherboard, your motherboard software will no longer control the lighting that is plugged into the controller. You will need to download software to control and change the lighting. Nolly is supported by its own beta software, Signal RGB, and also OpenRGB. If you found this video useful and informative, then please give it a like. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.